Welcome to Simply Fun's How to Play Choco Word, a game where players score points for spelling new words or adding on to existing words. You can play Choco Word with two to five players, ages eight and up. Choco Word is a great game for practicing spelling skills, as players use their letter cards to create words and add on to or change words already in play. Choco Word also helps expand vocabulary as players create words that others may not already know. To set up the game, shuffle the letter cards and deal seven cards face down to each player. Place the remaining cards to the side of the play area, creating the draw pile. Then, shuffle the power cards and deal the correct number of cards face down to each player. For two players, deal five power cards to each player and play for ten rounds. For three players, deal four power cards to each player and play for eight rounds. And for four to five players, deal three power cards to each player and play for five rounds. Keep all cards hidden from the other players. Give one player the score pad and pencil to keep score as you play. Players can select a specific dictionary to use as a reference aid or to validate words during play. To determine who goes first, each player draws a letter card from the draw pile. The player whose letter card comes first alphabetically goes first. Using the cards in their hand, players take turns creating new words or adding to words already in play. Points are awarded for each letter used, and the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. On your turn, follow these steps. 1. You may discard one card from your hand and draw another in the hope of improving your options. 2. Create or add to words by placing the cards in the play area for all players to see. Spell the words out loud as you create them. 3. If you cannot create a new word or add to an existing word, show your cards to the other players to see if they can help you. If a player can point out a word you can create or add to, you must play it. If no one can create, or add to a word with your hand. Discard your letter cards and draw seven new cards to restart your turn. After you play your cards, draw back up to seven and end your turn. If you have more than seven cards in your hand, discard down to seven and end your turn. Five, leave your played cards in the play area. On your next turn, pick up the words that you played last turn and place them in the discard pile. This includes any letter cards that were added to your words by other players. You may then play new words or add to the other players' words in the play area. Creating words Words must have a minimum of two cards and contain two or more letters. A player may create as many words as they are able to on their turn. Players score a point for each letter in the words they create. Double letter cards play the same as the single letter cards, but they count as two letters when scoring points. There are also six wild cards in the deck. A wild card may be used to represent any single letter of the alphabet and counts as one point. This card remains the letter it was assigned for the rest of the round. Adding to words. A player might be unable to create a new word, but has cards that can be used with other words already in the play area. This may be to add an S, ED, ING, or other letters to extend or change it. A player may add on to as many words as they are able to in their turn. When adding to a word in the play area, players may add letter cards anywhere within that word, at the start, at the end, or in the middle of the word, as long as it is still a valid word. You're not limited to the number of letters or cards you can play. You may not break a word apart to create separate words, and you may not rearrange letters in a word. Letters must remain in the order they were played, even when inserting letters. For example, you may not take the word tar and change the order of the letters to add C to spell cart. Scoring. When a new word is placed, the player scores a point for each letter in the word. If adding to or changing another player's word, a player scores a point for each letter already in that word, plus the letters just added. For example, if a player adds E and N to dark, even though they only played two letter cards, they would get six points for the entire word darken. Note, you may find that adding a letter or two to words in the play area will earn more points than spelling a new word from your hand. 
Power Cards Players receive power cards at the start of the game and may earn more as the game progresses. When played, these cards may increase your possible score or provide help when the cards in your hand are not very good. Power cards may be played at any point during a player's turn, but only one power card may be played per turn. Discard power cards into their own discard pile once they are played. Power cards have unique abilities, but any power card may be used to exchange all seven cards in your hand for new ones. Doing this counts as playing a power card, so another power card may not be played as you continue your turn. There are five types of power cards. Plus, this card doubles the points of all double letter cards in your words. Double letter cards are worth two points, but with this card, they're worth four. If any of the words you create or add letters to uses double letter cards, you get double points for each double letter card in those words. Copy. Play this card when you want to use a letter card that is already in the play area to create your word. Place this card in your word and identify the letter card it is copying when you spell your word. This includes a card with double letters. This card remains the letter or letters it was assigned for the rest of the round. Draw. Play this card to draw two new cards from the draw pile to help increase your ability to create words. Trade. Play this card to set aside up to three cards from your hand to trade with another player. Then randomly choose an equal number of cards from that player's hand and trade your card for theirs. And swipe. Play this card and choose a player. Then choose one card randomly from that player's hand. You will now have eight cards in your hand to use. The other player immediately draws back up to seven cards. Finishing a turn. If a player uses all of their letter cards during their turn, they may draw an additional power card. If there are no available cards in the power draw pile, reshuffle the cards to create a new draw pile. If there are no power cards in the draw or discard pile, the player will receive the next power card played after it has been discarded. When a player has finished their turn, add up their score and write it on the score pad in the field for the current round. It is then the next player's turn. If the letter draw pile runs out, reshuffle the cards to create a new draw pile. Challenges If a player creates a word that you do not believe is a real word, you may challenge it. When there is a challenge, look up the word in the dictionary to determine if they are correct. If the word is not in the dictionary, then the player that played that word picks it up and tries to spell something else, and the challenger gets one point. If the word is in the dictionary and the challenger was incorrect, the challenger loses one point and the word stays in play. The game ends after the determined number of rounds. All players add up their scores and the player with the most points wins. If there is a tie, the tied player with the highest score in a single round wins. If there is still a tie, then check the next highest round score until you have a winner. See how many words you can create before the chalkboard gets wiped clean in Simply Fun's Chalk Award.